Okay, so you just got your new 1022 for hopefully under 200 bucks. And now you want to add some stuff to it and make it a uh, $1,000 gun. Makes perfect sense. I think we've all done it. All right, up first we have the, the cheapest of the parts that we'll talk about today. Uh, an auto bolt release, a charging handle, and a bolt buffer. Bolt buffer $6, bolt release is 11, and the charging handle is like 30 bucks. I only have the auto bolt release on this gun. So when you lock the bolt back like so, all it takes is that to let it go. Ver on the stock 1022, you'll have to mess with the bolt release right there to get this thing to release. Not the most economical, fastest way to reload. You'll be fumbling around with it. Kind of just a pain in the ass. The bolt buffer is a pin that goes right here. I don't have it in this gun, but all it does is make the clanking sound a little bit less. I don't know if it does anything beyond that, but next time I take this gun apart, I might just pull one in for the hell of it. And a charging handle, and you can be the judge if you need that or not. I don't think I do. I'm not sure it'll change anything. Stock one's just fine. But maybe the sum of all those parts makes this thing pretty sweet. Uh, either way, those are very cheap, very easy to do, and you can do all of those as you clean the gun, basically. So those are 50 bucks total. Um, so now you increase the value of your gun by 25%, you're off to a good start. All right, number two on the list will be magazines, like this BX25. Uh, you do have to clean these once in a while. I haven't cleaned these just yet. They will start to malfunction on you. Um, that comes with shooting rimfire ammo, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. And then you have these small 10 rounders that come with the gun, or at least they come with most of them. Um, the problem with those is if you have a lot of them, they're gonna get lost in your range bag. At least that's what happens to me. So, when Amazon, I got this Pelican case, Pelican 1040, and this thing will fit 10, your 10 round magazines, lock up, and keep them nice and uh, secure in one place so you don't have to go fishing for them. If you're shooting in the rain or whatever, you got these loaded up. It's nice to have them uh, kind of out of the way in one place. And right now on Amazon, it's all of $23. They have a couple other colors. The cheapest one seems to be the blue one for $16. It's really not bad. Um, definitely recommend it. You can see it's already beat up. Save some wear and tear on your magazines too. All right, up next, we have a trigger. This is a single stage kid dropping trigger. Um, these go for 105 if you buy one. If you buy two, you get a $15 discount, which brings it to $90. I'm cheating a little bit, putting it on, on this list. But as you can see, it's, it's a nice trigger, it's light, and it doesn't replace the whole trigger mechanism. This is still plastic. It just replaces the internals and the actual trigger. Uh, if you want to buy the whole assembly, they're typically two, 250 but I haven't had any problems with this one. It shoots very well. It's nice and crisp, light. I'm not just saying crisp for every trigger. This one actually is crisp. Uh, feels very good. Uh, and it's on a hundred, under $100 versus buying the whole assembly for 200 All right, up next are sights. These are tech sights. Uh, TSR 100, I believe, with the flip up aperture. And 
the ones over there are the TSR 200 that have one aperture that you just adjust. Um, not, neither of these have the rail on them, or rather the rail mounted ones. But if you get creative, you can chop up your own rail and use the two screws up here to mount this. You can mount the red dot. I don't know if I can show you guys, but it does actually kind of co-witness um, with these tack sites. So what these do is on the front, you have a hooded, at, hooded post that is adjustable for elevation. It replaces this pop-up size, so you just keep it folded down out of the way. And in the rear is a GI style aperture. Um, and these are really, really awesome. Much better than the stock sights. Um, they run about 60 to $70, and they're definitely worth, uh, worth the upgrade. If you plan on doing an apple seed, with your 1022, these are, I would say, a must, along with a sling. Um, but they just make the gun so much more enjoyable to shoot. Okay, the last mod, under 100 bucks, is a stock. This one, that one. This is the Backpacker, an OD. Uh, this one is under $100. The Hunter Magpul, I believe, is considerably more. Uh, this thing is pretty, pretty cool. You know, put some crackers in the back here. I forget my briefcase. <laughs> well, what do you got in there? Crackers. <laughs> I can open it. Or some magazines. I prefer crackers, but whatever. Um, folds up nicely, so you can see into one package. This is just the Hogue stock. Uh, I'm sure everybody has seen the Hulk stock in their life. Uh, I'm not too happy with this one. As you can see, the barrel isn't quite center in this one. Kind of touches on the left side there. But other than that, it's, it's not bad. Very grippy. Kind of, I, I see some rust there. Got wet once. But not too bad. And these are about $70. The Hulk stocks do come in two sizes for a regular barrel and a bull barrel. So if you'd like to get a green mountain barrel, for example, which is about $110, $120, and an $80 stock, you can change the look of your 1022 quite a bit. These are these are 90 or so, um, come in a few different colors. And you can really kind of take your gun in any direction you want with that. That's a very big change. Something like this, you know, something like that with the sling kind of quiet because it's rubbery, it's a more plasticky, has some doodads here and there. Um, but as you can see, you do this, that, red dot, trigger, and you can very, very quickly make your $200 uh, Black Friday special for $500 gun. And I, I mean, barrels to 300 bucks. So you can go, you can go nuts on these things, but you know, they're very fun. They almost always come out of the range with us put a few rounds through them and uh, they're great guns so hopefully gave you some ideas on what to do with your new purchase or your old gun. Either way, tune in for more stuff and uh, we'll have more videos up soon.